With the influx of the space race by billionaire companies, lead engineers, software engineers, aeronautical engineers, and other technical engineers are slowly becoming the new talk on everyone's lips. A couple of them have already achieved great success within their stations, which begs questions when they have to bid goodbye to their stations. Blue Origin has been on the top spot for losing its employees to rivals. It's been just a few days after news broke of Nitin Aurora's departure, principal engineer behind the lunar landing program, to SpaceX, and a couple is following suit. Another significant outlet witnessed in astronaut Jeff Ashby, renowned director, the new Shepard launch program. But what could be the problem? Has Blue Origin wallowed in its miasma of overestimating its ambitions? Why are most engineers abandoning Jeff's multi-billion dollar company? Is it just as well orchestrated genius marketing campaign for SpaceX? Let's find out. Concerning Blue Origin's future, things have been a little gloomy as tons and tons of its talented labor force are quickly resigning to join Elon Musk's SpaceX rival company. However, this news started streaming in after Jeff Bezos flew into space. This poses a big question. Did the resignees want to tag along during the flight? It's simple. In case you guys had no idea, Blue Origin has been caught in an inevitable mess that is created by itself. Also, if you're not up to date with the story, hang on and let me break it down for you. Defaming SpaceX with infographics. Till the beginning of 2020, things were going pretty smoothly with Jeff Bezos' company, with about 1,500 new employees joining the space firm and making the company grow nearly by a factor of four over the past three years. However, attempts by Blue Origin to knock out SpaceX and falsely rally it has approved by its workers could have triggered the resignation of 17 key workers. Majorly, aerospace companies such as Blue Origin are incorporated with individuals who respect work ethics and believe in healthy competition. The NASA lawsuit. Blue Origin filed a protest in April, offering to cover up $2 billion for the first two years of production of a moon lander before taking NASA to court and infographics on its website describing SpaceX's starship as immensely complex and high risk. The graphics appeared to be cherry-picked details. Insiders Morgan McFall Johnson reported. This might have triggered its internal employees to believe that Blue Origin's lawsuit against another aerospace company was built out of pure ill intentions, which consequently provoked its internal workers to believe in the integration of ideas and ones in the space race. Besides, they felt that their counterparts' efforts were compromised during the last minute concerning the human landing system, which could be a breakthrough for all companies. Talent Bribe Blue Origin, headquartered in Kent, Washington, employs about 4,000 people. It is reported that 10 days after Bezos' flight into space, Blue Origin has given all of its staff members a $10,000 bonus. The company said the bonus was intended as a thank you for reaching a milestone in launching humans into space. Some employees interpreted the move as a desperate attempt by management to encourage talented employees to stay with the company, as many employees filed for layoffs after launch. Running operations discontent Employees who left the company did not provide specific reasons for their decisions, but did mention that they were frustrated with Blue Origin's executive leadership and slow bureaucratic structure. It is reported that 85% of Blue Origin employees are unhappy with CEO Bob Smith. In contrast, at SpaceX, according to surveys, 91% of its employees are satisfied with their CEO, Elon Musk. But why such a big margin? Even though engineers are not always remitted to the general direction of Blue Origin itself, engineers believe that they are employed for their technical qualifications and experience and they deserve general respect. Without recognition and appreciation, they feel left out and unentitled to some influence and inclusion. Also, at the moment, particularly with heightened social awareness, engineers are more likely to leave a company should they object to its strategy and not be allowed an opinion than ever before, which reflects what exactly is being experienced in Blue Origin. Exhaustion and Boredom Blue Origin's stifling engineering job description and specifications create a lot of slack time and pose no challenging problems to keep engineers engaged. 
Consequently, this makes work boring and exhaustive and encourages rival considerations such as SpaceX where they can deal with continual and unrelenting engineering problems. Due to its management policy, Blue Origin's engineers face continual exhausting slog such as that it sucks the life from them, which makes them seek better options, or rather greener pastures such as SpaceX. Job Specification Overload Blue Origin's job specifications compared to their rival company SpaceX, engineers get tired just before they are offered a chance to work in Blue Origin. Sometimes, it makes engineers depressed while performing their duties and further doubles down to a couple of questions, like how will the company nurture their career progression? Or rather, in such a fortified company, how will engineers achieve their long-time ambitions? Rival companies, including SpaceX, are known for the moderate attention they give to engineers, which encourages engineers to get on board and encourages them to board their ship. Moderate attention means everything to engineers. It means self-assessment. It means self-improvement. It means innovation and further invention. And lastly, it simply means being valued. Limited work-life balance. Many engineers in Blue Origin pack their bags because they work for too many hours and have no work-life balance, which is not the case in other rival companies such as SpaceX. Generally, engineers are deemed to be a rare and tough breed of human beings. However, it should be noted that they are still human and can as well get tired and deserve emotional touch with their families too. It's all work and no play. Something has gone wrong. Blue Origin has lost and likely to lose more to rivals if they don't amend their engineers' work and life balance with their rival companies. First, the company is in a protracted conflict with NASA, which awarded the contract to send people to the moon to Elon Musk's SpaceX. Secondly, the company faces constant delays in the implementation of its projects. New Shepard first brought a man into space only this summer, although it was originally planned that it would happen at the end of 2017. The reusable New Glenn rocket has never been launched and is still in development, although its launch was scheduled for late 2020. This even though Blue Origin received a $255.5 million contract from the US Air Force in aid to develop the rocket. According to a new report issued by the Government Accountability Office on June 8th, ongoing technical issues with Blue Origin's BE-4 rocket engine threaten ULA's planned inaugural launch of its new Vulcan rocket later this year. These technical issues with the BE-4 engine have an impact on Blue Origin's plans to begin launching its orbital rocket, New Glenn, next year. That rocket is already two years behind schedule, delays caused partly by these engine issues and partly due to the requirements imposed by the military under the above-mentioned $2.9 billion program to develop new launch systems. Blue Origin can still do better if these issues are addressed. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more interesting space videos like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button. You can also share the video with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.